think I'm live. Cool. Hope this thing works. Hey, don't know if anybody's here. Doesn't look like it yet, but this thing will be posted on YouTube anyway. So um, I'm just going to run through. This is uh, the 2018 Dreamweaver products. Uh, we were over to Dreamweaver a few weeks ago, and uh, you know every year we're trying to showcase our stuff for them. So this year is going to be no exception. So a lot of great stuff coming out this year for them. Nothing, nothing really huge as far as numbers. Um, you know, it's not like a, a hundred new items or anything like that, but uh, some really good looking stuff for this year. I got it all laid out right here in front of me, so I'm going to run through it real quick. Um, not going to take a whole lot of time. If anybody does pop on for the live thing and has any questions anytime, hey, feel free to shout them out and I'll help out any way I can. So let's start with, uh, let's start with the spoons. Uh, I got a whole bunch, well, not a whole bunch, I got the... Uh, the colors here in super slim and then the dw size also but i'm sure they also make the mags um, and everything else in these colors we really like the super slims they seem to produce really well for us you know later in the year you know a little, little bigger um, spoon sometimes a little bit better but these super slims like all year round work um, from start to finish so i'm going to show you a lot of these things in super slim so the first one and i'll do my best showing it to the camera. Uh, the first one is the new UV black green. Let's see if I can get it out of that overhead light. Uh, real nice UV pattern. Next one is the, the WV spotted green dolphin. And I like this spoon quite a bit. I got it, uh, that's the regular DW size and then uh, the super slim. You know, green dolphin and blue dolphin are probably taking more fish than any other spoon, you know, in the in the lifetime of this fishery. You know, those things, those things have been around forever, and uh, <laughs> they're amazing spoons. They always take fish. Uh, we put them out all the time. Somebody's up on here. Cool. Anyway, moving on. So this was the black green. Showed you guys that already. That's in the regular DW size. And this is the blue green spotted dolphin, also in UV. Nice looking spoon. Blue and green, all those great colors. And the spotted starburst. This one I like quite a bit. It's got that nice silver UV tape, you know, over or under, however you look at it, uh, over the yellow or under the yellow. With that orange tip there at the uh, at the end so nice looking spoon there that's going to go on the spread for sure and then one spoon that i've been really excited about that they're coming out with because this thing was we had a prototype of this one on the boat last year and this thing was flat out lights out for steelhead all the time this is the uh, Jordo. this is the uv Jordo. and this thing like i said just flat out on a five color on a five color core half core flat out destroy steelhead so happy they're putting this thing into production full time i'm gonna pop it out of the package it's like a pink or a hot pink over an orange so nice great spoon happy that's coming out so if they get a big run on jordo orders maybe it'll be because of the video who knows but that you guys should have, you should have a few of those in your box every day all day on your spread as well the Magic Man, one of my favorite DW spoons of all time, the Magic Man. Now they're coming out with a UV spotted Magic Man. This is another spoon, um, fantastic on steelhead. I got it out of the package because I wanted to show you it also has, you can see it. It's got an orange back on it as well. So that is the Magic Man. That's a green over orange. Uh, if you don't have this in your box or out in your spread, um, get it. It's great producer and then the last spoon I got to show you guys this is the new UV Two Face kind of interesting you, know, you guys probably run a lot of the a lot of you guys run the Two Face um, spin doctors or, or paddles but now they got it spoon so it'd be fun to check this one out green UV on top black dot UV on the bottom oh I like it we'll see what happens we'll try that out this year for sure anyway what I'm going to show you next. Let's uh, do some meat rigs. 
Just two new ones for this year. That's it for uh, for DW. First one is Wonder Bread. You know, everybody knows what a Wonder Bread is, color-wise. You know, Wonder Bread plugs, Wonder Bread spoons, UV one, the, the uh, Super Breads, all great spoons. The, the Dreamweaver uh, Super Bread spoon, one of my favorites for last year. Put a lot of fish in the box. But this is the new uh, Wonder Bread meat rig. And this is this is all new, a lot of new stuff to us. So we're looking forward to running it as well. See if I can show it to you guys. Typical UV, a regular UV uh, meat head. And then it's got the, the Wonder Bread colors in the teaser. So you got the uh, kind of the, the yellow or the antifreeze color, the blue, and then the pink. So that is a Wonder Bread meat rig. Be fun to try that this year. And then the second new meat rig they got is, I gotta look at them. <laughs> the blue confetti and this one reminds me kind of the moo moo rig or the fourth of july rig but just in blue uh, those are good rigs so i don't see why this one wouldn't be also so he got the uv head blue sparkle eye on it but then uh, the teasers are that blue sparkle uh blue sparkle you know mylar with the uh with UV tape or the UV glow, or not glow, but the uh, UV kind of material on the outside of them. So, that'll be fun. Try that one out. I like it. I like about everything Dreamweaver puts out. So, those are the two new meat rigs. The Blue Confetti and the Wonder Bread. Try them out. Uh, I think they're going to be fine. I think they're going to be great. So, let's get into rotators new rotators for this year i got every one of them there's three of them in total and i got every one in an eight inch and a ten inch so i'll show you both first one is excuse me first one is the, well, the green closer you guys might know what the closer is i'm sure many of you run it in the past um, you're familiar with the pattern it's just a chrome with a crush tape or uv crush and then dot it up but this is the green dots some reason dots have been just on fire the last couple of years. We noticed on our boat and talking to other boats, it seems that way as well. Anything with dots lately seems to just be lights out. So, hey, somebody give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. So, this is a again, it's chrome with UV crush and green dotted up on both sides. A great on a nice sunny day, you know, maybe the water stained up slightly, but you still want some good flash. I like that. And it's in the 8 inch as well. I don't think they have these yet in the Bigfoots. I think the Bigfoots are uh, still pretty much just the standard colors. So that's the green closer. The next one is the Dragon Slayer. Another high flash uh, rotator. Oh, it looks like UV on the side or just flat out UV. Um, then green on the other side with the ladder down down the center with the big eye at the bottom. Uh, it looks like it's on the, uh, again, the chrome spin doctor. And on the back side is the uh, UV crush tape. So really good high flash rotator right there. And I like that on a good sunny day. Yeah. And then in the 8 inch as well. So it comes 10 inch and 8 inch. And that's the Dragon Slayer. I dig it. I do like that one. We'll run that one for sure. We'll try it out. And then the last new rotator they got up for this year is the uh, Chrome Blue. And this looks a lot like the Dragon Slayer, you know, the one I just showed you. Let's see if I can get the light off it. But then just in a little bit darker, uh, darker variation. So UV, of course, all, all up and down. Really good flash to it. Chrome Spin Doctor. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be a crush, yep, crush UV on the back. So another really good high flash rotator. Uh, I like it. I like those quite a bit actually. And of course that comes in the 10 inch and the 8 inch. You know, we really like running the 8 inch early in the year and then the 10 inch later in the year. Um, but so, you know, sometimes it, it, it's day dependent as well. So some days it just depends on what the fish want. But that's kind of it for us, 8 inch early and then 10 inch later on. That's it for the, the spin doctors. 
Let's see what else I got here to show you guys and gals. Whirly gigs. Uh, they changed them a little bit this year. Um, and you guys ran these whirly gigs last year. I'm sure you liked them because we did. Really durable. I'm not hacking on any other products, you know, that are similar to these because they're, you know, tried and true over the years for sure. But I've always noticed that the wings break off or wear off or tear off after a while. But these whirly gigs are, I mean, I'm twisting on these things pretty hard right now. And they just snap right back into place. So you can run these things over and over and over. Super durable. I like these. Um, especially when you're running trout gear, you know, down to, down to the dirt. It's easy to wear your stuff out. So it's nice to have something that lasts for, for quite a while. And these things do. But one thing that they changed on these. And I'll see if I can show it to you on the camera. Is on the back now, where it was flat. Back here. It's now like rigid or ribbed or however you want to say it. So what's that going to do? I think it's going to agitate the water quite a bit. You know, really throw off, you know, a little bit more vibration in the water that the fish might pick up. So I like the change. I do. And I talked to the guys at Dreamweaver the other day because I've always been curious why these don't come in, in different sizes and they say they're going to. In the, in the near future, and I don't know what the near future is. could be a year, it could be 10. But they're going to offer a smaller size and a bigger size. So that's good to hear. But uh, all the all the whirly gigs now are coming with this uh, like a, I don't know what you want to call it rocket ship kind of back end looking thing. So that's good. That is the shamrock, the one I just showed you. I don't think they have any real new colors for whirly gigs um, yet this year. This one right here was our lights out producer last year, and I'm sorry I don't know the name off the top of my head what it is, but if you look on the Dreamweaver website teamdreamweaver.com or dreamweaverlures.com you can look that up but that thing was lights out uh, but really we caught fish on everyone that one just seemed to be a little bit better but i can show you if you guys haven't seen them the kind of the standard whirly gigs what the colors are that's just uv wings with a green head blue with green dots with the blue wings what is that one even called the blueberry bubble what was that first one called? Green Ghost. The Shamrock I showed you already. Fire Tiger. This one was another really good one um, last year. Uh, probably our second producer. But the Fire Tiger, dig it. The uh, Tangerine, good producer. And then this is the uh, Lemon Twist. And I, I don't know if that, this is all of them. I couldn't tell if this is every style or not. Off the top of my head. But they all... They all produce well. They all fish really well. Like I already said, they last a long time, which is nice. Really nice. So, what else? I got the spoons covered. I got the meat rigs covered. I got the rotators covered. Whirly gigs. Um, Dreamweave now has their own uh, divers. They are coming in the 124 size and in the 107 size. These are really, really good. These... I know who they used to be made by. Uh, I know the Dreamweaver's taking them over, and I'm glad they have because I think that they were going to go out of out of business, the old company. I'm, so I'm glad that these are going to be around. I like these much better than any other diver that I've ever used. They just seem to run better. They're easier to use. Um, they, they just seem to outfish the other divers, and I really can't say it any other way than that. So, um, like I said, 124 size. And it says right on there for 70 to 110 feet, we run them deeper than that. You can run them deeper than that. And then the 107 size um, says uh, 50 to 80 feet. But, it, you know, again, that's just kind of ballpark stuff they put on there. Depth charts are on the back. And then, you know, there's tons of videos online also showing how to run dipsy divers. I'm not going to I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel anyway on these things. Um, but I'm glad that they're, they're, they've taken over uh, the style of diver because they've always been my favorite. The colors they come in. Now, I'm not I'm not sure exactly how many, but I got some here in clear. We like clear and black quite a bit. You know, that's pretty much the standard on our boat. Well, we got it in the green tiger. Um, the chrome. You know, I do like chrome for uh, when I'm bouncing trout rigs on the bottom. Just puts a little more flash down there. What else do I got? Oh, let's see. I don't know what that's called. 
but it's there. Uh, this one's cool, and I only had, I think, one or two of these left, but I'm hoping they get more. This is a green glow. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be really interested to see what that does in low light, if it does anything to add it. Who knows? I dig that. So we're going to be trying that for sure. We got Orange Tiger, and I know they got some other, other, uh, other colors on their website, so check out the website. You know, I'm, a, I'm not going to be able to remember everything. But uh, check out teamdreamweaver.com. You know, they'll show you everything they got on there. And, of course, the pictures are going to be a heck of a lot better than what I can show you here. Hey, somebody else give me a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. And gals. I always say guys. I, I mean guys. Like, uh, I don't ever mean to offend anybody. I just say guys. I always have. Um, but I know there's a lot, of, a lot of women out there that fish as well. So I'm not trying to offend anyone. So, last thing I got. And, uh. The guys at Dreamweaver want me to show everybody this. Uh, they don't even really know a whole lot about these. They just picked these up. Trip Z Diver, made by Fishhawk. They just got these things. And uh, so it's new to them as well. But it looks like they come in maybe two or three different sizes. Like this one says runs up to 30 feet. This one says uh, target depth 20 feet. That one says target depth 20 feet. But what the guys at Dreamweaver told me was that uh, you can run these behind boards, uh, you know, quite a bit smaller. And they're saying they're really geared more towards the walleye um, fishery, uh, which makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, I don't know if we're going to try these or not. I'm, I'm always kind of a little hesitant hesitant to, to run a, a diver behind a board, but yeah, we might give it a rip. Why not? But for you walleye fishers, you know, you know guys sagging up really anywhere, Saginaw Bay, um, all over the state. These might be something you might want to check out. Um, I don't know much about them. Uh, I wish I had more information to tell you about them, but I don't. But it's called the Trip Z Diver, um, made by Fishhawk. And the website is trollingdivers.com. So it might be something you might want to check out. Might be. Who knows? Maybe by not running these this year, I might be missing a big boat. So who knows? I'll try them out anyway. Who trying to ramble anyway guys that that's it that's the new stuff for dreamweaver this year if you go on their website they got a little they got a whole section there that shows all the new stuff like i said better pictures than what i can show you um, but what i what i do have what i just showed everybody today i'm excited about this is some really good stuff the uh, the new rotators the new spoons especially some of those new spoons that uh that spotted magic man that jordo those things are fantastic. Two spoons I, I, you know, I was already familiar with. They're just made better now. But uh, that double or that uh, two-faced spoon, that's going to be interesting. I'll try that out as well. But uh, yeah, really excited about those. And of course, the Whirly Gigs coming out in new sizes soon. I dig those. You know, Lake Michigan's a lot of lake trout fishing now, so we need that. Uh, we need that lake trout gear, and uh, this stuff definitely works. Behind that. Uh, Behind that eight inch chrome spin doctor, you know, 19, 20 inches behind there, the great rig. So that's it. I don't think anybody chatted, so uh, I don't have any questions to answer. That's cool, no problem. Uh, if you have any questions at all, though, leave me a comment here on the video. I'll be happy to answer anything. I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. And as always, great fishing. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll have some more videos coming out soon. Thanks, guys, and gals. Take care.